So now we're going to code out the solution to the file upload challenge just live because that's always helpful for people to see their teacher making mistakes. <laughs> and so here's main and main and main and hp.listen and this is using the Go programming language and uh, we're going to handle file submission. I'm using default serve mux and if you're just tuning into these videos uh, you could YouTube Todd McLeod and uh, this video is one video in a series of videos for all the videos I'm recording for this class, college class using Go for web programming. Go to my playlist, Fall 2016, you could get to all the videos. And it's always good to follow me on Twitter so you can be updated when I'm doing stuff. And it's also always good to send me money. So PayPal, <laughs> PayPal Todd McLeod at gmail.com, I think, will get the money to me. So you are rich. I could use a patron. There we go. And now you got my email address. So HP dot uh, handle funk now. And we're going to do this pattern and foo baby. Funk foo has to have uh, HP dot response writer and a pointer to an HP request. I love go. And uh, now uh, what are we doing in this one? File upload. And so file upload, how are we going to do that? We need to go look at the docs and go doc net HTTP and index and the request and the request has form file which takes a key. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it returns a file, a header, and an error. A file, a header, and error. Colon equal request.form file and it's a user file. We'll call it user file. And now we need to check the error. Log print line error. And uh, we should probably return something to the user HTTP dot uh, response writer. Uh, error. Error. What's the error? Let me go. I gotta go look that up. Hold on. Okay. I was just checking to make sure I had it right. HTTP error response writer error string and code. So we could do uh, right here HP error uh, response writer and then an error string error uploading file and then an uh, error code HTTP status internal server error maybe I don't know and then a return. And so now we have a file, so we could defer file close. And now uh, if the method is post, we want to do all this. So if request method is equal to, and I can just do that, but there's HTTP.method post, which is a constant. And so uh, if, it's, if the method's post, we have a file coming in, so we'll put all that in there. Is this still helpful to you? Yeah. Yeah. And so we have a file, we have a header, and we have uh, the error. So the next thing we want to do is uh, read the file. And so I util read all, maybe. I'm just going to have a text file. Let's go look at that. I, ut I, uh, I util read all. It takes a reader, it turns a slice of bytes in the error. Byte slice, comma, error. Colon equals IO dot IO util IO util dot read all and it takes a file, takes a reader, turns a byte slice and an error. And so we could do that stuff up here again. And return. Otherwise we can uh, s colon equals string through conversion, convert that byte slice to a string and assign it to a variable s. And we could put that variable s up here, var s string. And so now we always have a string, whether it's the zero value empty string or the string 
with the file, and we never use the header. I might be making an error there. I might need that, so I'm just going to underscore that one. How do you like that? Does that look good so far? So now I need to use my string somewhere, and I need to write my response. And so I'm going to uh, do what do you guys feel like? Write string, IO write string, or thumped F print. How many people want write string? Raise your hand. How many people want F print? F print takes a writer and then a string. And uh, what am I going to send here? I'm going to do a form. And I'd like to do this with some code completion. Temp form and action and method is post and uh, and then all right so now I'm also going to do uh, the ink type and that's going to be multi-part form data and what's next you tell me input type file and the name is going to be what the name is this. So that's what we're requesting. And uh, and then input type submit. And we could have a little text upload a file. Just a couple of breaks. All right. Um, so that's what I want. I just came here to type it out and I'm going to put it in here. Voila. And then I could also add in my value at uh, my value S. F for an F, S, percent B. So does that look good? Let's see what happens. I'm in 04. What did it just do? Uh, not used IO. Aha! How did I fix that? Okay. Where do I want to do it? Maybe right here. And so uh, I need to do my response writer dot header dot set content type uh, text HTML. What's the rest of that? And ink e equal UTF dash eight. Is that right? Car set. Car set. That's right. Car set. Is that right? Is there space there? Yeah. That looks right. Try it again, see what happens. Upload a file. So now I need a file. And here's this one. I'll put it right there. Let me get rid of Tim because we're done with it. And so Choose a file, and I am in temp 4204, sample, submit. Oh, that is cool!